Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the all gracious, all merciful, hello to you all dear viewers and thank you for joining us with another program about Islamic tablet and propagation and also communication. In this series of programs and in this, uh, as much of fact, uh, classes of course, uh, we talk in detail about the techniques of good interpersonal, intrapersonal and group or mass communication and the way that we can uh, be useful to the other to affect and influence, having good influences on the other. And uh, we are talking about these points and in our previous discussions we talked about techniques of uh, Islamic techniques uh, of tabliq. Uh, in our previous t uh, session we started uh, some general points about balagh al or good uh, or transparent uh, propagation or uh, tabligh and we mentioned some uh, general points we talked about uh, for example uh, be being lenient to the uh, other to listen well to use arguments to talk logically uh, for example, uh, to have humbleness in your acts, do not look from the beginning that you are higher than the other. And being respectful, to, uh, not using bad words to the other. And uh, having righteousness in your words, okay, we talked about this, being lenient in your in talking and not insisting on your words that you... 100 person must uh, prove to the other that you are right you know something takes time if you want to do tabligh uh, tabligh is a cultural event tabligh is a cultural point culture comes from cultivate culting cult means cultivation when you want to cultivate it takes a year for example the tree brings fruits or for example um, you uh, harvest, for example, uh, wheat seeds, for example, okay, the fruits takes one uh, year. Or, for example, if you cultivate, uh, for example, uh, uh, a tree, this fruit tree will take, for example, 10 years. After 10 years, it will bring you fruit. So, uh, cultural activities which propagation is amongst them takes time it is not a matter of one hour one day one month one week no it is a matter of continuous and continual and maybe years of propagation that you will affect the audience or a group okay it is very famous that if you want to be influential to the other you have to go and live with them Live with them using your polemics as well as your uh, behavior will complete your uh, way of tablet. Okay, so from the beginning, you must pay attention that you want uh, to cultivate in the mind of the people elements of good and divine behavior, divine rulings, and it needs time. So not being persistent and insistent on your words is one of the other techniques. Listening good is also uh, one of the other points. One of the, uh, which is of course the tenth uh, point uh, of general rules is that you have to uh, speak to the audience. What does it mean? It means that um, if you your audience is showing one good behavior, you have to show you have to show a behavior which is more appropriate. You have to speak. It is like a uh, it is like a for example contest. Okay, it is like a I don't know just an example. It is like a football match. You know. You want to speak the audience. You want to speak the rival. What does it mean? If he invited you, for example, uh, to a session, to a coffee, you invite him for lunch and talk together to affect him. If he gives you, for example, one gift, 
you also give a better gift showing that you are paying attention uh, to the audience okay so it is a kind of uh, bilateral and mutual uh, uh, cooperation and negotiation it needs two it needs two sides and if it is just one way one way of speaking is not useful and it is not at all prescribed in the way of tablif so in Quran we have that Allah Billah Mashiach Daraj by the Hoyi Tom Betahiyatin Fahayu Bahsan Minha, our road to home. If you are greeted, greet them in a better way, and if you want to reject, reject in a better way, in a good way, not in an insulting way. You know, if you want to reje reject an idea, reject in a uh, respectful way. So, this is one of the techniques. First of all, showing a better, being a better counterpart, better being a better counterpart, being a good alternative, because when the audience are looking at you, when you are doing something lesser than the audience, the others, the third party will see the scene and they will judge that, for example, your counterpart is doing well. And also, if you want to reject, reject in a better way. And one of the uh, other points, which of course uh, we can say it is the le last, not the least, is that I can call it as a kind of uh, audienceology. Audienceology, uh, in, in my way, it is uh, studying of the, uh, knowing the target audience. But ma arsal nomer rasulun illa bilisane kaume. We didn't send any prophet unless with the language of that tribe. The language of that people, the language of that community, God the Almighty states that if I, if He the Almighty sends a prophet, a messenger, or imam to a group, sends it in a uh, way that, uh, as much of fact, uh, uh, can talk to their language. So language here means uh, that both. Uh, the culture and the language itself. Language, for example, uh, if you are going to the to speak to the audience, it's very good you learn the language of the audience. If it is English, I don't know Spanish, German, Turkish, Arabic, Persian, I don't know Malay, uh, Swahili, any language. The best way is that you learn their language because because it gives leniency to your way of tablir. When you talk to their language, they can trust you easily. For example, suppose imagine that you are in a very uh, strange country, in a faraway country. All the people are strangers for you. You don't know them. They don't know you. And all of a sudden, for example, uh, you are a Muslim. A person comes and says, "Salam alaikum, ya akhi." Hello, my brother, for example. This Salam Alaikum, which is Arabic term, will give you the confidence and a very release, and you, uh, it gives you a thigh of relief, and you say, okay, I have now a friend which talks to my la in my language. No, it is very good. You talk to their language. It is from one hand. From the other hand, you have to know the language of the audience. It means that, uh, for example, you speak, uh, the, the in the culture of the audience sorry in the culture of the audience uh, for example in the culture of that country okay uh, using one word which in another country is okay but in that country is bad so you must be aware and don't use it for example you are in a African country and say that uh, for example uh, you are a Negro Negro means a black person, but this is insulting word of black people. Okay, it is insulting. In, in, this is a kind of misrespect. Negro means uh, that, for example, you are black and I hate you. So if you just know this word in that context, okay, it will help you. For example, in Islam, showing the thumb is not good. But in the other countries, thumb showing is a sign of good act, victory, or etc. 
So a person who comes to Iran must know that this thing, which is a kind of liking you see in, you see in the Facebook, Twitter, or any place that's showing a sign, is a sign of like. Okay, but in some countries it is a sign of kind of it is a kind of insult. Okay, so you have to know the culture. You have to know the culture. For example, let's refer to our word, the prop, the word propagation. The word propagation in, uh, for example, in Asian spoken countries, it's okay. In some parts, in, in some states of the U.S., is also okay. Pro the word propagation means uh, some religious advertisement, something like this. But in the UN, as I have heard, it is a kind of political bad advertisement. It is a kind of uh, advertisement which you want to demonize the other and showing that the enemy is devil. So this is a kind of propagation. So you have to be careful when you go there, you use another term. Okay? So... These were some general rules, and uh, these are very good uh, points and general rules in the way of uh, Islamic propagation. Now I uh, want to uh, talk in detail about some techniques and explain more on them, which are, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, encouraging uh, way of tabligh. According to Quranic verses and according to Ahadith, uh, remembering the blessings of God is v very important in the tablet. When you want to do tablet, uh, remember to the audience that uh, God has bestowed them with many graces and blessings. You know? uh, it must be done in a way that, for example, you see a person who is, uh, for example, uh, suffering from a kind of psychological problem, okay, or you go to some, uh, I don't know, to some places that they are healing the people who are suffering from psychological and mental problems, or you go to a group that they are so disappointed, I don't know, they have no hope for the future and etc., Talk to them, uh, for example, with uh, God's blessings. Tell them that it could be worse than that. For example, if you, if you, for example, uh, don't have money, at least you have, uh, you know, healthy body. There are hundreds and millions of people who are suffering from cancer, suffering from uh, very hard uh, diseases. So. Remind them of God's blessing, God's uh, uh, no, uh, sustenance, God's uh, uh, kindness, God's love. So, remembering God's blessings is one of the other important points when it gives courage to the audience. For example, in Quran we have that... Um, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان يا يا أيها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرج به من الثمرات رزقا لكم فلا تجعلوا الله أندادا وأنتم تعلمون. It means all those who believe in God know that God is the one who had created you. and created your forefathers and the generations before you who had uh, made the earth as a carpet under your feet and, and the sky uh, as a roof above you and had sent you from the heavens and from the sky rains and uh, water and via this rain and via this water He, he had brought out from the heart of the dust and also the heart of the dirt uh, very delicious fruits, okay? So do not uh, appoint any partner to God, the Almighty, and do not uh, go to a wrong way, do not go astray, okay? 
So God the Almighty, uh, which is in chapter in uh, in uh, as a matter of fact in chapter of Bagarah verses number twenty one and twenty two, God mentions His blessings and His uh, graces to the human being that. This is God who had created you, who had brought you from nothingness to existence. So why you become arrogant? You were nothing. You were just a drop of water on the womb of your mother, for example. And you were nothing. And when you will die, also you will be nothing. It means that your body, this physical body, will be destroyed. Your beginning is a drop, a bad smelling drop of water, and also your end is being uh, destroyed, and again, bad aroma of death. So, why are you arrogant? So, this kind of showing the blessings and showing the, uh, as a matter of fact, the bestows of God is very important, and showing the uh, as a matter of fact, the grace of and the blessing of uh, independency and freedom. Show them that God had uh, created you free. There are hundreds, millions, billions of people, okay, they are not free. Their mental, their physical body are in jail, in the jail, iron jail of this world, the world the benefits. Lost you know, desires, you are free, okay, and had given you his blessing, so why are you, uh, why you don't follow him, okay, so, also, this is one of them, the other, um, as a matter of fact, uh, methods, in the methodology of, you know, provoking the uh, emotions of the audience is that you have to uh, I can say you have to stimulate and you have to simulate uh, uh, and provoke the emotions and the I can say the courage of the audience by uh, for example some words some verses that gives the audience a way of reflection. For example, when a person look at Quran, when uh, talking about backbiting or qayba, qayba in the meaning that you backbite the other, you talk behind uh, your brother or sister, and you know that if he or she understand you are talking that way, he or she will be uh, unhappy and unpleasant or sad. So God said. Do you like to eat the flesh of your uh, brother while he is dead? He is dead means that he, he is not here. A dead person cannot defend himself. So when you are talking on back or you are backbiting, okay, so he is not present to defend himself or herself. So it is like that you are eating his or her flesh. So uh, this is very uh, this is very uh, important that when you talk to the audience, bring some examples. You know, this example gives a kind of detest and hatred uh, to the audience, and that would think that yes, you are true. So he would uh, quit that way. Or for example. Uh, uh, in another uh, way that it is mentioned that when you talk to the uh, people, uh, use, uh, for example, some show some differences. For example, when you talk to a group who are uh, poor people, okay, uh, for example, show that they are not poor in reality. They are rich, richer in spirituality, richer in, for example, uh, worshipping God, you know. These are something that you have to play with the emotions of the audience. So this is very important and, uh, you know, uh, provoking and, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, 
accentuating the emotions of the audience, it is very important. So, uh, until another program, and I talk about some other techniques about Islamic propagation and tabligh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.